Hello, another quick module video for you. This one is Token Flip by Ripper. Uh, what I like about this module is it lets you quickly change between two different tokens for an actor without needing a module. There's plenty of places that make sense. The easiest example to show you is for were creatures. So I've got a were crocodile here that doesn't currently have any token attached. And we're going to go through and set that up. Um, so I've linked the actor data here. So any changes I make to the token gets changed in the actor. Um, for something like a were crocodile, unless it's an NPC, you'd want to do it in the menu actor. Um, but I'm going to go in. Now when my players meet this person, I might not want them to know that they are um, a were crocodile. So I would check the token name. And be like, okay, well first I'm going to call this um, Warrior. Just so they meet and how it, depending on your module setup, how this appears in like things like the action um, in the combat log and in the initiative tracker. Every DM I think has been stung by a surprise NPC who then when they've used an ability or they've gone into initiative their actual identity has been revealed by the initiative tracker. Um, I know quite a few people whose Curse of Strahd games have had some spoilers happen because of that. Uh, so I'm looking to make sure it doesn't happen here. So we've called him Warrior. In fact, you know what? I'm just going to give him a name, actually. John Smith. The most generic name I can think of. So John Smith. Um, I want his character art to be, here's some tokens I've got, um, I'm, I want his character art to be this. So when they meet him, they will uh, meet this. I'm going to change his name to John Smith as well, not that it really matters. Um, so that's not his character art. If a group come along and meet him, I could go right click, view character artwork. This is who you see, this is who you meet. Um, his name is John Smith, he looks like this. Let's set his token art as similar. There we go. Um, I tend to like to make my token art 0.8 size, just so that it fits inside a square a little neater, I feel. Um, but currently, this is, this is John Smith. If they get into combat with him, they get into combat with him, um, and that's how they'll fight him. His feature, his abilities, we see that he can go into hybrid mode. So he can turn into a crocodile. He's a were crocodile, John Smith, um, and he has those abilities. But then, if you're describing that he's turned into a crocodile, there's a bit of a suspension of disbelief for your players. So let's get going with token flip. I'll enable the module. And if I go back to him, I look in his token, oh, we have configure token flip. Now I've found sometimes this needs to be done twice. We'll we'll see what happens. So we have in here, yeah, it's got his current situation. I can click add new face. There we go. And it looked for a different it's looking for another image now. So I can go in, go back to search, and I'm gonna put in the where crocodile token. Still got it at 0.8 scale. I might want that to shift a little bit, actually. I wasn't planning to, but makes sense if you're transforming into this animal, you're gonna get a little bit larger. So I might actually throw my own rule away and make him get bigger. I might change this, we'll see how it looks in a second. Uh, that's now in. The, the temptation here is to keep clicking add new face at the bottom. I end up doing that quite often. Update token. And now, if I right click on him, we have this token, flip token. And when I right click, he changes. I can change it back. And he shrinks back down when his transformation ends. Um, yeah. You can set multiple faces up and cycle through. My understanding is you can right click if you have more than two and then pick which one you want to go to. I've seen people use this for quite often, token creators will do variants of a model. And there might be a like a hoplite with a helmet and a spear um, with their normal art, but then there's also one of them like yelling or quite often a lot of token creators will do a bust and then more zoomed in on the face. 
I've seen things like a barbarian for when they're raging, they'll flip the token to a more like aggressive looking token to highlight that they're raging. Just a really cool little quick module that I think really helps with adding flavor to your games.